so guys uh, what's up hope you are doing good and uh, this is something session where i'll be discussing more about what exactly is eip 1559 protocol so many of you might have heard like a new proposal is being proposed and uh, almost all the miners have already agreed for this particular proposal which is eip 1559 so in this session i'm going to explain you what are the key changes that they are proposing in this uh, in this particular protocol and how it is going to benefit the users as well as the miners or any issues if any okay so not to worry I, I i'm there to explain in easy terms and i already have a whiteboard so i'll be explaining you uh, by drawing in uh, each of these particular terms okay and at the end of this particular video i'll also show you what are the common myths that are running around this particular eip wonderful finance protocol so with that uh, let's start this session so what exactly is this eip wonderful finance so eip wonderful finance is basically the ethereum improvement proposal that is uh, proposed by all these developers so that uh, if at all they are able to uh, take it further that will enhance the network capability yeah so one such proposal and uh, one such uh, major important protocol or the proposal is called eip one double finance so basically what it says is the change in fee structure okay so this is something which is gonna hit all the miners all the entire network right so that's why it is one of the most important proposal that has been till date one of the most important yeah so what is the change is like it is completely changing the fee structure so earlier what is happening is you know ethereum hasn't moved at to 2.0 so it is still following the proof of work so what is happening here is that uh, all the uh, users like us maybe who want to do some transaction need to specify the fees which is nothing but gas okay so what is a new change that is coming here is in this particular uh, eip wonderful finance they are proposing that there will be a kind of base fee and there will be a kind of inclusion fee which is optional so as of now just don't uh, take it just ignore that so this particular eip wonderful finance protocol is basically introducing a base price for each transaction uh, that will go into the network that will go into the block okay so that is the uh, the unique thing that this particular uh, uh, proposal is bringing into well so how this base fee will be determined is based on the congestion available in the network okay so i'll just tell you a simple relation if there is more congestion in the ethereum network more and more transactions are waiting in the mempool as a result the base fee will automatically increase you can see there is no single person who is or the no person who is actually uh, imp yeah, what i can say kind of uh, influencing the gas fees so here the network itself will be defining the basic fee which is basic gas fee and that will be opted by the users okay that's the first thing and here if you see whether that is higher or lesser okay that will uh, we'll see in a little while but as of now in the new fee structure it is proposing two things base fee plus inclusion fee okay so what exactly is inclusion fee I i'll talk uh, about it in a little while okay now how it is helping the miners and users okay now coming to the users first uh, earlier we are just competing maybe if at all i want to have my transaction first i'll obviously select a huge gas fees as a result i might have the more chance to get the fees included right to get the uh, transaction included right so but here it is benefiting me as i need to follow only i need to put only the base fees if i'm lucky enough i'll get my transaction added into the block and i can say that with so much lesser gas fee i'm able to execute a transaction on ethereum okay that's the huge benefit that uh, users are going to get but there are certain conditions it's not always and it's not a, a straightforward approach like your fees will be reduced no there is a concept called inclusion fee so now what exactly is this inclusion fee okay let's decode so inclusion fee, uh, fee is nothing but uh, something that a user can add on the top of base fees again the same if at all i want to have my transaction get completed faster i have no choice rather than to pay some more fees which is inclusion fees okay so that's where uh, the concept comes but if you see i think from this particular point we can make a uh, conclusion as well it's not always that it is going to reduce your transaction fee it depends so, uh, and it's not that much uh, beneficial at 100 percent level yeah sometimes yes sometimes no and that is all about the base fee and inclusion fee and now what is uh, beneficial to miners of course you can see it's not that much beneficial to the miners only thing is it has proposed an increase in block size and that comes in third point so so what exactly is this block size impact i'll tell you first then i'll i'll connect with how it is going to benefit the miners okay 
the first thing block size impact so if you see the current ethereum block size is a uh, 12.5 million gas okay this is the volume of transactions that a block can hold now with this proposal they are increasing the block size to double which means that just ignore this which means 25 million gas fees worth of transactions can be now put into the block so as it is you can see there is a huge uh, 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 space a block can hold as a result more fees that can be inclusion fees or block uh, base fees that i'll tell you in a little while but as of now assume that there is an increase in block size as a result more and more transactions enter into the block as a result more fees to the miner okay so that way it is uh, benefiting miners in a in some uh, approach okay now so it's already told block size impact we've already spoken and next how about minor reward so is it like both the things will go or only one thing out of these two pieces will be going to the minor well uh, let me tell you it's only the inclusion fees that minor is going to receive so what about base fees this is something which you are already paying no that will be scrapped off that will be burnt okay and why is it why is it is designed in such a way because ethereum wants to have deflationary impact just like bitcoin again we are connecting the rods definitely yes i'll speak a bit on this as well but as of now what you need to understand is minus reward is only the inclusion fees plus rewards which is which will be there and you know the basic uh, reward per block is to ethereum so that will be there plus inclusion fee so from now there will not be any base fee that will be added as a reward to the miners so whatever base fee will be collected that will be scrapped off so why they are doing it yes there is a reason the reason is that if at all say for example as i told base fee is something that will be keep on increasing as per the congestion level right correct so here you can see i still made it i haven't deleted it okay i haven't erased it okay so if at all if uh, there is a, such a sort of mechanism what would do all the miners will combine together and they'll uh, create the artificially the congestion as a result the base fee will go on increase correct so this is something that network wants to avoid as a result to uh, do this they are implementing that a burning concept so base fee will not be will never be uh, sent to the miners okay that will be burnt okay so to have that deflationary impact on the ethereum supply as well as to have the control on the network these particular uh, things has been proposed in such a way okay so that is all about the uh, miners reward only the base uh, inclusion fee will be added plus block reward as usual okay so that's all about the minus reward and uh, yeah let's speak about deflationary impact i think this is something i already covered so as a result what will happen ethereum supply will get down correct it's not in a such a high high scale but yes uh, the base fee which is collected that will be scrapped off it's not huge but at least good that uh, the ethereum market supply is going to diminish over a period of time the factor is less but a bit uh, possibility that it might go to uh, reduce levels due to the concept of burning sir when that will happen well this particular scenario will come when clearly observe when block reward plus incentive uh, inclusion fee sorry inclusion fee generated is less than gas fee basic gas fee in this scenario only the network will attain uh, attain deflation impact okay so this is the way the network has been the changes has been proposed in this eip protocol eip 1559 protocol and uh, sir some something you missed what is this base fee increase wait let me tell you so you know that uh, let's assume that okay uh, in this block assume that uh, out of this particular 25 million gas fee this is used at 50 percent level the network congestion is 50 percent so that time assume assume with the basic fee is 50 gas per transaction now what will happen if the network congestion increases okay this has become to 60 percent the load has become 70 percent okay there should be a limit right so here we spoken about based on the congestion levels the base fee will get increased or decreased correct so the factor is 12.5 percent so compared to this block this block can have a base fee of 112.5 percent of the previous block so as it is you can see it's not only it's not nowhere uh, i can say speculative 
it's a it's a controlled movement correct so as a result of this particular eip 1559 the uh, gas fees are becoming more predictable okay it's not solving that i can i cannot say that it's becoming less but it is rather becoming predictable okay so that is the benefit and that is all about the uh, base fee increase whenever you heard about this particular term you need to understand this way so the difference between either increase or decrease it can be increase it can be decrease it will happen at 12.5 percentage of the previous block base fee okay so that's the way the base fee will be uh, will be uh, the increase or decrease will be cap capped okay so that's all about this one and uh, yeah the next thing is is when it will launch okay so if you see uh, overall there are certain issues as well with respect to the miners but uh, it's more beneficial to the users well so as a result this is something which is which might have been uh, got the unanimous approval of all the miners despite there are some uh, ifs and buts but definitely yes majority of the miners have already agreed and this is something which they are proposing to launch in somewhere around july 2021 and you already know it might get it delayed uh, as something that we can see in ethereum 2 as well so but this is the proposal that they are planning in july 2021 okay so yeah i think i covered almost and one of the important aspect i just want to cover is the cap fee or we can say fee cap okay so what exactly is this concept let me tell you so here as you are aware that okay base fee is something which is changing as per the congestion level right and if i'm a normal user i may afford or i may not afford to pay that particular base fee correct so to avoid that what i'll do i'll just put a cap of the uh, fee that i'm affordable to pay so I'm, i'll initiate a transaction now and i'll put a cap for that maybe uh I, i'm not sure maybe the current running price might be let's let's say i guess 60 uh, gas gwl but i'm not willing to pay that much so what i'll do and I, I'm also sure that this is not something which is going to re uh, get reduced very soon. You know the factor, minus 12.5%, minus 12.5%, minus 12.5% for each block. Okay, if at all the congestion level reduces. So what I'll do, I'll just put a cap of 30 gas, imagine or assume. 30 gas is the cap that I'll put. And once the 30 gas limit is achieved by the network, then only this particular transaction will trigger okay so such a feature of limiting or putting a cap on the transaction fee is called fee cap so with that uh, hope i have explained all the features or uh, the uh, proposals that were in eip 1559 as of now it is proof of work and you know currently each miner is earning uh, either as a reward as two ethereum per block plus uh, transaction fees plus mining fee or whatever so this is something which they are earning but from now they'll earn only rewards which is to ethereum plus inclusion fee again inclusion fee is something optional base fee is something mandatory but that is something will be burnt by the network thus this particular brings in deflationary concept to the ethereum and miners also cannot overtake the network by uh, taking the artificial congestion right because uh, at some point no one will be able to pay such a huge base fee as a result their approach to put artificial congestion will not work and moreover despite they doing you know base fee is being burnt yeah so those are the key changes that are uh, put in in this eip wonderful finance protocol now uh, hope you have understood clearly with my uh, whiteboard explanation so if at all you have any doubts please do reach me or you can comment in the comment section of this particular video now just to uh, summarize with uh, one news article that i have come across so here the coin desk we are in and uh, this says that there are four common misconceptions about ethereum's one double finance upgrade well let us just see the uh, misconceptions and see what extent we have understand this concept okay the first misconception is yeah it is aimed to reduce high fees on ethereum you know that it is not very true maybe 95 percent 19 percent sometimes yes but not always correct so it's not that you uh, every time you'll pay end up paying a lesser fees no that depends on the base fee levels and that depends on the congestion levels at that particular time but overall might be a reduced fee a user can get a transaction executed okay but that's a big myth i mean the reduction is a big myth okay the next one is uh yeah it will make ethereum monetary policy more predictable as you are aware that we have spoken about deflationary impact but that's not going to uh, make the coin or the make the network 
completely deflationary because the burning rate is quite less only the burning fee is getting or the uh, base fee is getting burned not the reward not the inclusion fee okay so that's also again a myth it's not going to uh, uh, make the monetary policy such a huge uh, change or a uh, deflationary kind of thing okay and the next thing is that uh, yeah it, there is a myth that miners will quit mining and attack the network because anyway you already taken the base fees uh, from their pockets because you are burning it and you can see here uh, the survey says that they are supposed to lose 20 to 35 percent of their income again uh, the discussions are going on some of the miners who haven't agreed they already filed the petitions and uh, we are at to see the result but yes as of now we have attained uh, 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 majority of the approvals and this will definitely come into picture yeah okay and the next myth is all about the minor extractable value uh, it is also saying that this particular proposal might solve but uh, let me just tell you what exactly is the minor extractable value it's nothing but the rewards that will earn as a result of they arranging the transactions in a block correct but again since it is a proof of work they'll do it with a certain uh, a sample of transactions but again they'll redo it they'll redo it until they find the hash but here also this due to this proposal so it's not going to uh, change the or impact the minus extractable value that particular issue also will be staying as it is so hope you have understood clearly on what exactly this uh, eip one double finance protocol is bringing into ethereum and uh, if you have any further doubts you know how you can contact us well so please uh, watch this video uh, without i mean without any uh, fast forward and all and uh, grab the content to the extent as you can yeah, signing off. Prem Kasi, Chartered Accountant and Company Secretary. Bye-bye.